Don Slater sets the table. So many people affected by this. Let's go live to see what the storm left behind. Ten on your sides and McNamara in Portsmouth. And we've seen pictures and videos from all over the area. And you found some downed trees? Yeah, down trees and down power lines. They seem to be concentrated in one particular area of Chesapeake, and that's along Benefit Road. The road was blocked in several different places. Some of the residents were sort of trapped right where they were. People were trying to get to them, and that included utility workers who were on emergency calls. The hail. This cell phone video taken in Carl Burroughs' backyard on Benefit Road shows the rain and wind at the height of the storm. There was um, just a mass of wind that came through, and it was like it was taking the trees and moving them in a circular motion as it went across the back. The Burroughs have five trees down in the backyard and a very big tree down in the front. It fell straight across the road and took the power lines with it. Now the borough's driveway has become a popular turnaround point for drivers who realize they can't go any farther. And a lot of people have been coming in the driveway and turning around, and there's wires that are pretty low right over the entrance to the driveway. At this point, you may be wondering what's on the other side of the blockage. The answer, William Mallon's house, and yet another place where the road is blocked by fallen trees. This was an oak tree that was probably about 60 feet high. It's been there for a long time, so it split in the middle, came just across the road and took all these lines down with it. The debris so bad, even utility workers had trouble getting to emergency calls. Neighbors did what they could with chainsaws, but in the end, their best option was to wait. Plan is wait for the utility company to get out here. They got the proper tools. We don't have just homemade, you know, chainsaws made for the house. So it's going to be a lot of cleanup over the next couple of days. <laughs> They weren't getting very far with the chainsaws. They were going to need much more equipment to move those big, heavy trees. They also weren't getting very far in cars. The cars were actually backed up on those back roads. So many people had to take turns turning around. And thank goodness for the boroughs. They were very generous to let everybody, including us, use their driveway to do so. Live in Portsmouth tonight, I'm Ann McNamara. Ten on your side. Well, at the storm's height, Dominion Virginia Power says there were about 44,000 customers without electricity, half of those in Virginia Beach. At this hour, crews are still working to restore power across the area. Just taking a look at the numbers, though, they have decreased. There are about 9,000 in the dark in Virginia Beach, about 5,000 in Chesapeake right now. Power lines are down in Norfolk. Police closed Briar Hill Road from East Virginia Beach Boulevard to Poplar Hall, Poplar Hall Drive. The road closure is expected to last until tomorrow morning. We'll let you know when it reopens. And this is the Chesapeake Regional Airport after the storm blew through. As Don showed you earlier, one hangar with several planes inside was damaged, and we still have no word tonight if anybody was hurt. Many of you shared your vantage point of this storm, including this video of heavy rain. We remember it well. We also also got plenty of pictures. You can see more of them on wavy.com.